Let's look at combining polynomials. What do you do when you have two polynomials and you want to, say, add them? Well, there are two ways to do this. One, you can write this as 7x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5x plus 3x cubed minus 11x plus 2. And because we're adding, we don't have any sign changes. And then go through and collect um, coefficients of the same power. So for x cubed, I have 7 plus 3, so 7 plus 3, x cubed. Let me look at my powers for my x squared. All I have is a negative 4. I don't have an x squared term in this polynomial. Now let me add my linears and then my constants. So this is 10x cubed minus 4x squared minus 6x plus 2. And that's a perfectly fine way to do this. I have another method that I actually prefer because it keeps me from adding the wrong coefficients. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write my polynomial in standard form but I'm going to put in any zeros that I have. And see, I don't have a 0x squared. I don't have an x squared term, so I'm going to put in a 0 there. Now I'm just going to add them straight down. 7 plus 3 is 10x cubed minus 4x squared. Uh, minus 6x plus 2. You should get the same answer either way. When you have a difference, um, there are a couple of ways you can do this one as well. You can say 6, 6x six to the 4th minus 2x squared plus 3x. And you can go on and distribute that negative sign to make it a plus. So that's plus negative 4x to the 4th plus 9x squared minus 7. I always go back and check. My signs are correct. And then collect like terms like we did before. 2x to the 4th minus 2 plus 9 plus 7x squared. Linear terms plus 3x minus 7. You can also do this one, um, stacking them and putting in your zero terms. That's your first polynomial. The second polynomial is, um, let's see, what is that? That's 4x to the 4. Now note I'm putting in the original signs minus 9 x squared plus 7. You can also space it like this and leave the zeros. Now I'm going to subtract. So to subtract, I'm going to go in and change all the signs. And now I add straight down. So this is 2x to the fourth. That is 0 plus 7 x squared plus 3 x minus 7. Same answer. Now what about the product? What do you do when you have a product? Same thing we've been doing. Let's boil this one out front. So this is 14x squared outside minus 8xy inside plus 21xy last minus 12y squared. Collect like terms. 14x squared plus 13xy minus 12y squared. What do you do when you have a product like this? Well, this is a time when the area model may actually serve you fairly well. A lot of students lose across terms when they just try to foil it. So let me show you what the area model looks like on this. This is x 
minus 5, so that's my first term, 4x squared, 9x minus 1. So this really does help students to not lose cross terms. I had my calculus students do this once, and it really helped them on the AP test. So what's the area of this square? x times 4x squared is 4x cubed. x times 9x is 9x squared. x times minus 1 is minus x. Minus 5 times 4x squared is minus 20x squared. Minus 5 times 9x is minus 45x. I'm out of the box, but you get the idea. And negative 5 times negative 1 is 5. Now, up diagonals, they're going to add. All right. So I can write this polynomial as 4x cubed minus 20 plus 9 is minus 11 x squared, minus 45, minus 1, minus 46x, plus 5. What do you do when you have 3? Crying is not an option. You multiply two of them together, and then multiply that product by the third. So which one do we want to multiply together first? Oh, let's see. Let's do this one right here first. c squared plus 2 times c minus 3. Let me use the area model here. c squared 2 c minus 3. I got carried away here. Tell you what, let me start this one over. Really, drawing the box is about the worst part of this. All right, so this is c cubed, 2c minus 3c squared, 6. Oh, nothing is going to simplify nicely about this one. So this is c cubed minus 3c squared plus 2c plus 6 times... 2c plus 1. Yuck! Again, let me try the area model. c cubed minus 3c squared 2c6. If I had been smart, I would have gone straight into the area model on this one, but I wasn't. So 2c and 1. All right, so I've got my box here. So this is 2c to the 4th, c cubed, minus 6c cubed, minus 3c squared, 4c squared, 2c, 12c, and 6. So the diagonals are going to add. So this is 2c to the 4th minus 5c cubed plus c squared plus 14c plus 6.